What's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna give you five drills on how to make you more awesome at carving. I'm not gonna dive into the little nitty gritty details of how to carve in the right body positions because I do have a lot of other videos that are gonna be linked down in the description that's gonna cover all of that. So this video is dedicated to the person that is able to carve but ready to step it up. So the very first drill we're gonna dive into is called Weeble Wobbles. Essentially, we're trying to activate our ankles and try to get our board to grip and rip as fast as possible. So first, you're gonna do a toe side traverse across the fall line and you're simply going to press your toes into the ground as quick as possible. It's gonna be looking very sporadic, but that's what we're looking for. Now, I would like you to keep your spine upright and your balance over your toes, but really press your toes into the ground. Once you've done that, you're obviously at the other side of the run and we wanna make our way back. So we're gonna do the same thing on our heel side, but we will be changing what we do with our ankles. Essentially, I want you to lift all 10 of your toes to the top of your boots as quickly as possible. As you see on the screen, it's gonna be very sporadic, but one key indicator, if you're doing this correctly, is looking behind in the trail that you have left, and are you remaining in a carve, or are you just skidding? The goal is to remain in a carve. Now you might be asking why this exercise is amazing. This allows us to make very rapid adjustments in our carve, and allows us to create way more tilt without having to change the rest of our body positions up above. I use this tactic so much, whether it's in my freestyle riding, whether it's aggressive carving or just mellow carving, I'm constantly using my ankles. So practice that. Your ankles should fatigue. And if they're not, keep going. Today's video is actually sponsored by Element. Element is a hydration company that I actually reached out to because last season, I literally spent every single day getting a the supplement pack, pouring it into a water bottle, and I like felt amazing. So I was like, you know what? I wanna reach out to these guys and see if they want to hang out. And they're like, absolutely, let's collab. And so, my favorite parts about this supplement is that there's not a bunch of added sugar, there's not artificial flavors, it's literally a salt pack which is designed to help you absorb water so you can become more hydrated. And there's not a bunch of added junk in there so then I don't have to worry about what I'm putting in my body, you know, because I'm trying to go so bored every day and feel amazing. And this supplement is literally backed by a whole bunch of scientists and like a bunch of science, a bunch of nerd, so I know it's going to be super awesome. And so they packed in 1000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium, so you can literally absorb the water and feel amazing and literally the best part is there's NBA players NFL players using this stuff but it's also used by your everyday mom and dad or snowboarder right now element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order that's eight single serve packs free with any order this is a great way to try all eight flavors or share the element with a salty friend get yours at drinkelement.com slash Tommy and this deal is only available through my link you must go to D I R N K L M N T dot com slash Tommy. Let's go. Drill number two is going to incorporate more body positions. So we're going to point our board straight down the fall line and then we're gonna rapidly go from our toe side to our heel side, our toe side to heel, and try to make that as quick as possible. One key point that's gonna make this a lot easier is if you just start with your belly button a little bit lower, allowing you to have more flex in your lower extremities is gonna allow you to make rapid, rapid movements. Now the point of this exercise is to essentially be able to, on a dime, get into a heel side and toe side turn also while working on transitioning from edge to edge rapidly. There's a lot of times that we struggle when it comes to changing our edge, going from our toe side to our heel side, we wanna work on that transition while going from edge to edge. So my suggestion is point your board straight down the fall line for about 50 yards. Obviously choose appropriate terrain and try to rapidly move your ankles. Now try to just isolate your ankles. We're gonna step it up here in a minute with the next one, but just use your ankles. Drill slash exercise number three is gonna be piggybacking on something that we just did, but we're gonna elevate the level of intensity. So point your board straight down the fall line, and this time instead of just using your ankles to transition from edge to edge, we're gonna incorporate using our knees and our high back. Specifically on our toe side edge, we're gonna press both of our shins against the front of our boots, allowing us to get in that carve. Now, 
please be aware that this is a very rapid movement and can be very sporadic and you get a lot of performance and it may be a little wild. So I suggest you use that movement in a progressive manner at first, engaging that carve while using your knees. It, it can be wild. It's like kind of a roller coaster. And then in the opposite, we're going to try to press our calves against the high back, leveraging our ankle and our high back in that heel side carve. Again, be progressive when you start. But the goal is to be able to go toe side, heel side, toe side, heel side, but you're gonna notice that they're gonna be a lot more intense of a carve and a lot longer of a carve, but a lot more aggressive. You guys don't know, right now as you're watching this, I'm recovering from hip surgery. I don't know, I got nothing else. <laughs> so, real quick, we got Ryan Napton here. He's gonna give us his best advice for being amazing at carving. I think about it in terms of circles, because when you tilt your board on edge, it will glide across with whatever side cut. Overall, I would say most people ride too fast for really clean carving. So when I'm carving, I want to make these nice full C shapes, and I'm not in a race or anything, so we're a lot of Alpine racers that are racing gates, so their turns are going to be like this. But me, I, feel, make, I want to make it feel like a gentle walk through the park and I want to feel every millimeter of that turn when the snow's good. That requires good groomed snow, not uh, obviously not moguls, not backcountry, not too soft to snow where the edge will sink in too much, but just finding that glide on those circles. Tilt it and just tilt and trust and just ride that whole circle and it really feels amazing. Boom, there we go. So if you guys are looking for more content specifically on nerdy breakdowns and nerdy information when it comes to carving, check out Ryan Napton's channel. Go there and let him know that I sent you. Thank you, Tommy. So for drill number four, we are gonna change it up. So essentially we're gonna do a large radius carved turn while working on our flexion and extension. What that simply means is we're trying to get our belly button as low in the middle of the carve as possible. Now we are able to achieve this both on our heel side and our toe side turn. On our toe side turn specifically, we're gonna use some of the tactics from the last drill, which is using our ankles, our knees, but we're trying to get that belly button as low as possible. Now for safety reasons, and for some extra style bonus points, you can take your back hand and place it on the ground. So you're gonna notice that I start up in a tall position and I start to lean into the turn and I progressively start to sink down and get smaller and smaller until I max out my range of motion and then I'll start to extend up before I change edges. Now, it is extremely important that you are not just dropping your head down to the ground and saying you're flexible and you have great range of motion if your perception is going down. The goal is to get the top of your head to the bottom of your feet as squished as possible. And another way to think about it is actually getting your tailbone to get as low to the board as possible. Now when it goes to our heel side turn, something very similar happens. We're gonna start very tall. We're gonna progressively get as low as possible. We're gonna hit our maximum range of motion and then extend back up. Now for a nice little bonus, if you can drag your back knee on your toe side turn, you're awesome and that did mean you got super low. And if you're able to touch your tailbone to the ground on your heel side turn, that means you're awesome as well. And if you're gonna be doing that, definitely tag me on Instagram because I wanna be seeing you guys kill it with the awesome drills. For drill number five and our final drill, what we're gonna be doing is working on taking off and landing on a carve. Now this can be extremely useful when you're doing side hits, you're hitting a roller, or it could be a survival mechanism. If you hit a roller, you accidentally get out of balance and you need to set an edge. So we're gonna be using a large range of motion from our previous exercise, and obviously we don't have to go that far, but we're gonna be working on getting low, and then as we extend up, we're actually gonna extend up pretty rapidly, allowing us to go from one edge, catch some air, and land on the edge, other edge. When we're doing a toe side turn, we're gonna jump, retract our knees up to our chest, and then extend our legs out, and then we're gonna land on our heel side edge with our toes up. And then as we do that nice heel side turn, we're gonna jump off of our heels, which may be hard. So you really gotta think about pushing off of the ground with your knees into the ground versus just your toes. You gotta push off, retract your knees, and then you're going to put your toes back in the ground like you're doing a Michael Jackson. It's definitely another great exercise. Hope you guys like those five drills. And if you feel like you got any questions or you're confused about any of them, come join my live streams every single Tuesday where I get to answer all of your questions. I get to know you, you get to know me. So on that note, guys, nothing but love, and we'll see you there.